Life in a gang is fraught with violence, where every meal could be your last, uncertain if it will be sustenance or a bullet. Who are the top 10 most dangerous gangs in the world? From the ruthless Albanian Mafia to the notorious 18th Street Gang and the enigmatic Camorra, we uncover these groups' dark secrets, violence, and impact. How has the Camorra remained influential, despite law enforcement efforts and internal conflicts? Join us on a chilling journey through the underworld as we count down the world's top 10 most dangerous gangs. Number 10. Albanian Mafia When you think of the Mafia, you might not immediately think of Albania. However, Albania has several dangerous Mafia groups. There are 15 prominent crimey families in Albania, and they have a strong presence in other countries like Germany, the UK, Spain, France, and Greece. The Albanian Mafia is known for its extensive network, connecting with other criminal groups in Greece, Bulgaria, Turkey, Romania, Italy, Australia, and China. So, what do they do with all this influence? They're involved in illegal activities like drug trafficking, human trafficking, weapons smuggling, and selling counterfeit goods. They began collaborating with the Turkish Mafia for drug smuggling, but expanded, turning Albania into a narco state. Albanian gangs play a significant role in UK organized crime, sending millions in criminal proceeds to Albania. Their criminal activities sometimes lead to dangerous situations, like the mysterious death of Troy Kellett, an Australian businessman with alleged Albanian mafia ties. His family suspects foul play due to his strange behavior and mafia connections, raising questions about his death. Number 9. Serenos Serenos, also known as Sur 13, originated from a prison rivalry between Mexican-American gangs in California. They're recognized by their preference for blue and sur tattoos and are involved in drug trafficking, extortion, and murder. A notable incident was Gustavo Perez killing a police officer in 2018. They're primarily in Southern California but have members in 35 states with solid prison leadership and ties to Mexican drug trafficking. Despite arrests through initiatives like Project Southbound, the gang persists in criminal activities fueled by a rivalry with Nortenos. Number 8. MS-13 MS-13, or Mara Salvatrucha, has a unique origin in 1980s California, formed to protect vulnerable Salvadoran immigrants. But in the 1990s, it turned violent under leader Ernesto Deras, recruiting impoverished, undocumented Salvadoran boys. Initiation involved a brutal beating and a crime, leaving the gang nearly impossible. Their motto is, kill, rape, and control. They've lived up to it. There are 6,000, 10,000 MS-13 members in the U.S. and 50,000 in Central America. The gang is involved in drug and human trafficking, extortion, and brutal murders, like the 2016 machete and baseball bat killings of Nisa Mickens and Kayla Cuevas in Long Island, linked to a high school dispute. This case underscores their extreme violence. Number 7. The Russian Mafia The Russian Mafia is a powerful criminal organization operating since the 17th century. Its influence grew significantly in the 20th century after the fall of the Soviet Union. Former KGB agents became Mafia leaders, and Russian businesses often had to pay them for protection. The Russian Mafia operates in Russia and internationally, with 30 known syndicates in the United States alone. They are involved in various criminal activities, including drug smuggling, human trafficking, extortion, etc. Some Mafia figures are well-connected with alleged ties to politicians like Vladimir Putin. Despite efforts to combat them, the Russian Mafia remains active and influential. Number 6. Crips and the Bloods The Crips and Bloods are infamous California gangs involved in drugs, murder, extortion, and robbery with a legendary revelry. Founded in 1969 by Stanley Tukey Williams and Raymond Lee Washington, the Crips grew to over 30 cent members during the 1980s and 1990s, especially during the crack epidemic. Some well-known individuals like Snoop Dogg, Easy e and Coolio have been associated with the Crips. Now let's talk about the Bloods. 
The Bloods gang originated in the 1970s in response to violence from the Crips, who had attacked high school students and killed a man named Robert Ballou. People victimized by the Crips formed the Bloods in retaliation. Today's famous Bloods members include Lil Wayne, Gucci Mane, and YG. The Bloods, though outnumbered by the Crips, have resorted to violence. Both groups engage in deadly conflicts, car thefts, and criminal activities. In 2022, police arrested members of both gangs for a deadly Sacramento shooting with six fatalities, highlighting their ongoing and unending rivalry. Number 5. The Yakuza Back in the 17th century, the Yakuza protected lower-ranked Japanese citizens, mainly from humble backgrounds. Today, many Yakuza members still come from similar backgrounds. The Yakuza places great importance on honor and loyalty, and they have strict power hierarchies within their group, symbolized by the sharing of sake called sakazuki. The Yakuza has unique practices like tattoos and finger cutting for apologies. Their membership has been reduced to around 20,000, but they remain dangerous, involved in drug trafficking, extortion, loan sharking, prostitution, and smuggling firearms. They're linked to illegal drug imports and engage in human trafficking, often using legal businesses as fronts. The government has tried to combat their influence despite occasional acts of goodwill. Number four, Hell's Angels. Hell's Angels is a well-known biker gang with a criminal reputation. Founded in 1948, it has over 6,000 members in 59 countries. Hell's Angels has been involved in various illegal activities, including extortion, prostitution, drug trafficking, and organized crime. It has faced controversy and legal challenges, and some members are known neo-Nazis. Despite their claims of being a wholesome group of bikers, Hell's Angels remains under suspicion by law enforcement. Number 3. Sinaloa Cartel The Sinaloa Cartel, once led by El Chapo, descended from the Guadalajara Cartel after his uncle's death. It's become mighty, with over 100,000 members, known for gruesome murders and online sharing. Law Enforcement Efforts 2009 resulted in 750 arrests and 59 million seized. The most significant victory was El Chapo's arrest in 2014. He escaped prison twice before being extradited to the U.S., where he led the world's largest drug operation. He was sentenced to life in prison and ordered to forfeit $12.6 billion. Despite these setbacks, the Sinaloa cartel continues its operations. It is now led by Ismael El Mayo Zambada, who deals in cocaine, marijuana, methamphetamine, and opioids. Despite decades of law enforcement efforts to dismantle the cartel, it remains a powerful and resilient criminal organization. Number 2. The 18th Street Gang Let's talk about the 18th Street Gang, Barrio 18. Did you know they're rivals with the MS-13 Gang? Yes, the MS-13 and the 18th Street Gang are fierce enemies. Unlike the MS-13, which is primarily made up of Salvadorans, the 18th Street Gang is diverse with members from various ethnic backgrounds. They also have close connections with the Mexican Mafia, and as we've seen in previous entries, any affiliation with the Mafia usually points to criminal activities. The rivalry between the 18th Street Gang and MS-13 has been exceptionally deadly. A judge even stated that these two gangs have turned the Central American Northern Triangle into the area with the highest homicide rate in the world. But how did the 18th Street Gang begin, and how did they become powerful enough to rival MS-13? In the 1960s, California's Clanton 14 Gang allowed only Mexicans to join. Non-Mexican immigrants and mixed-race youth formed their gang, 18th Street, including various neighborhoods. They expanded over time and now have tens of thousands of members. With connections beyond California, some deported members set up operations in Central America, sparking a violent rivalry with MS-13 over control of Central American territory. In the U.S., the 18th Street Gang is infamous for being one of the most violent gangs, involved in carjacking, the drug trade, murder, shootings, 
and more. In California, it's reported that at least one person is robbed by an 18th Street gang member every day. The gang has left a trail of murders, including the killing of football player Wilson Palacios's teenage brother. In Central America, they regularly kill civilians and rival gang members. Number 1. Camorra When you think of gangs, you might immediately think of the Italian Mafia, and on this list, we have the Camorra, one of the world's oldest gangs, dating back to the 17th century. However, it was in the 19th century that things started to get interesting. The Camorra gang was involved in various criminal activities, including blackmail, extortion, smuggling, and robberies. It also played a role in protecting illegal gambling. The name Camorra itself combines capo, meaning boss, and mora, meaning gambling. Interestingly, the Camorra didn't continuously operate entirely in secret. Many of its members were accepted into the police force, and some even successfully ran for political office. What sets the Camorra apart is that it's not a single unified gang. Instead, there are numerous factions, each with its leader and activities. In the late 20th century, it was estimated that there were dozens of Camorra clans. This decentralized structure makes it challenging to dismantle the organization, as one clan can spawn others. As clan leader Pasquale Galasso once remarked, Campania can get worse because you could cut into a Camorra group, but another ten could emerge from it. However, having multiple factions with different leaders can also lead to infighting. In 2005, the De Loro and Sicionisti di Secondigliano clans engaged in a bloody conflict known as the Scampia feud, resulting in hundreds of deaths. At one point, the Italian police sent over 1,000 officers to Naples to stop the violence, but it proved ineffective. The Camorra gang remains influential today. While many older members are either deceased or in prison, their younger and more flashy children are stepping into their roles. Which of the mentioned gangs do you consider the most brutal? We would love your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, Remember to click on the bell icon to stay updated and never miss our latest videos.